Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an Eye of Ender statue. It's going to be done in the same style as like my Diamond statue and Redstone statue, if you've seen those. Or even the 8-bit Pokeball that I've got sitting over there. Um, I'm making this because, of course, one of you requested it. Used the handy PM function and suggested I make it, and well, you know I like to make the items. You know, I've, I've got a soft spot for them. I like I like the little 8-bit creations. I it's, it's my weakness. So, if you want to make it, you're going to need black wool, cyan, uh, da -da -da, dark grey, light grey, white, dark green, and light green. And that is going to be all of the colours. Uh, but, 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 where do I want to make it? I want to make it close enough, but far away enough from true moon. Because I'm trying to make this world look uh, look nice. Uh, so I don't have to amend it when, you know, it will inevitably eventually come up for download. This is going to be like my Pixel Art World 2.0. Um, and I need to do a lot of a lot of renovation on the first one to make it look acceptable. So, um, here, you want to start off with three black blocks on the floor, like that. And it's just a circle, so you can start from either side. So from this left side here, you want to do an up left diagonal, one to the left. Up left diagonal, up left diagonal, one going up, up left diagonal, two going up, up right diagonal, one going up, up right diagonal, up right diagonal, one going to the right, up right diagonal, two going to the right, and we should have, there we go, a giant C, half of the circle. And of course you might want to pause where you have to, and all of that stuff, but Starting from the bottom and going clockwise, you've just got 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. It's like a dance number, really easy to remember. Um, so once you have that, you want to move on to this part. I'm, I'm going to start from the bottom and go all the way to the top. That's how I roll, that's how I do things. So from this part on the right hand corner, we're pretty much going to do the same thing we did on that side. You want to do an upright diagonal, 1 to the right. Upright diagonal. Upright diagonal. One going up, up right diagonal, two going up, up left diagonal, one going up, up left diagonal, up left diagonal, one going across, and what we have here, we have a circle, all nice and circular. Maybe I'll make a coin one of these days, that'd be kind of cool. Get the queen's head on, the nah, it'd have to be a massive scale, anyway. So let's get it. Let's get it coloured in. So once you have that, um, we're going to start off with the cyan. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of going to do the colouring at my own pace. I'm not going to fast forward it or anything. But um, it's really the, there's doing the colours one at a time. You're not going to be able to trip up. You'll be able to see where they, where they go all nice and easily. So no, no worries. There we go. This is all of the cyan in the pixel art. You can see it's mostly situated around in the corners, except on that left hand side there. Uh, you can see one stacked on top of each other, on top of one another, each other. I'm going to stop. There we go. There. <laughs> so that's all of the cyan. Pause that if you need to. Now we're going to put the, well, the first, uh, the first part of the dark green in because there's a little more in the middle. Um, one block goes right next to this cyan here. Um, two more blocks go outside, like on the outside of that cyan there. And there's two on this right side, and three come there, and one on top of the cyan. Uh, so there's not much on the like around the outline, around the outside, around the outside. That's all of well, yeah. That's that's all you need to know for now. Pause that if you have to. Uh, now let's get some white in. So the white is it is it's hanging around the corners a little bit. It's you know, there's. That's what I like about this. There's no, there's no phantom blocks. You know, just hang in there randomly for no reason. It's all, it's all built up around the edge. I like that. So that's all of the white in the pixel art. You can see how those four, they're all in the same sort of position in those corners, and then you've got the, the two random ones on the left. That's light. Um, now let's put in the light grey. The light grey is situated mainly around the white like this 
and then this free here, one, two, three, like so. That's where the grey goes, nice and easy, pause that if you have to. And then there's one dark grey in this pixel art which goes right next to this, uh, to this light grey here at the top. And then what you want to do is, underneath this dark grey you want to do one, uh, uh, one dark green. And then you want to do three black blocks underneath, one, two, three. Then you want to do another dark green underneath the black. And then on either side of it you just want to do three dark green like that. And this is what you'll be left with. Let me let me show you this. So that's all of the colour. Well, just about all of the colour. In uh, Eye of Ender. You can see the little pupil looking at you. Uh, what you what you want to do now is you want to fill everything else in with lime green. Uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and to cut out time, I'm, I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit. And then once you've got all of the lime green in, it should look like that. And that is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to make a couple of amendments, of course, after I'm going to make it look a little 3D, but that is the base of the Eye of Ender. I think it looks pretty cool, and I've set something up over here, uh, so you can kind of compare them. I always like to do this, I always like to see if it looks like, uh, if it looks like the item. And I think it does, I think I've gotten pretty close. Um, so there you go. If you're happy with it being 2D, I'd, uh, I'd probably just leave it at that. It's nice. Add it to your item collection. But if you're like me, you might want a little bit more. Um, so what I'm going to do is... What, well, what you want to do is, if you want to make it slightly more 3D, you ignore the black outline on the outside. All of, you know, all of this. Ignore that, what you did first. And then just, like, raise the colours one block coming towards you. And you'll do that on both sides. So, you know, kind of like I'm doing now, just... Just like this. Um, and you'll raise all of those up. Just um, just so it pops a little more. And it will give a kind of effect. Especially when you look at it at an angle. Or when you look at it slightly far away. And it it, it just gives it a little, a little cool effect. Um, but it is closing in on dark. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to finish this side. Do the other side. And then I'm going to... Um, going to sleep and then bring it back. Not in that order though. So I'll be back after I've finished this. Alright then, and if you've done it just like I have, you know, I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up. You just leave the outline alone, raise up the middle one block. You can see how, even looking at it head on, it kind of just gives the whole 3D thing. Um, that's why I said it's, it's not really a statue, but it is 3D. And you know, when you look at an angle, or when you look at it relatively far away, you know, you just kind of go around it. I just think it, I really like the effect that it gives. I think it's really cool. I don't know whether, I, d I just did it randomly on, um, on like my redstone statue. I don't know if I, if I inadvertently stole it off of somebody or whatever, but I don't think so. I've not seen anybody else do it. Um, but yeah, I just think it, I just think it adds a little something, something. Um, so there you go. Probably a little longer than I wanted it to be, but, you know, they always are. <laughs> and there's your Eye of, Eye of Ender. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should check out some of my other stuff. I've made plenty of pixel art, YouTubers, houses, tomahawks, tanks, the list goes on. And if you're interested in becoming a YouTube partner, hit up the link in the description.